Hey guys, it's Lucy and I think it is about time that I gave you a weight loss update. <laughs> If you've been to my channel before, you know the drill. Come on in, take a seat. This is a weight loss update that I've kept you guys waiting a long time for. <laughs> Apologies for that, but it's here, it's here. <laughs> and if you are new to this channel, hello, I'm Lucy, and I make the videos that I needed to see right at the beginning of my weight loss and running journey. I needed to see someone who was relatable in a position that I was in, complaining about the same things that I was complaining about. <laughs> I needed to see someone who was uncomfortable, not completely smashing their goals, doing miles and miles and miles at a time on every single run. I wanted to see someone who'd been in a position that I was at at the time and accelerated and that is exactly what's happened. I've run a marathon, I'm preparing to run my second marathon, I've lost a total of 70 pounds. Although you will notice in this update, I have put some of it back on, but just keep watching and you'll find out what happened there. But anyway, um, yeah, if you like this content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and let's get into my weight loss update. So I have been weighing myself regularly um, for the last two months, really. I've been consistent and getting on those scales and I tend to get on roughly the same time every day. And what I do is I just make a note of what the scale says and then by the end of the week if I just work out an average from what that says then I'll take that because I know and I've learned from experience that my weight regardless of what I do is going to fluctuate and I've had weeks where I've eaten barely anything and I've stayed the same and I've had other weeks where I've overeaten or I thought I've overeaten had all the bad foods all week and I've lost weight so there is a science to this weight loss stuff but obviously it's a complicated science. So I know just weigh myself regularly, get the weekly average and just focus on that. With regards to my uh, year, basically I'll just run through it quickly. Um, I got down to my lightest weight of 160 pounds. I ran my first marathon. <laughs> then I had to stop running for a while because I was studying. I was going to be sitting in an exam in the January of this year, which I passed with flying colours. Thank you very much. <laughs> I spent a good two to three months of that with um, less running. I didn't get to go out and do running because I needed to study. I needed the time. I didn't have the free time to continue with the running I was doing and do the studying. So the running had to give, unfortunately. In that time, I did lose fitness and I wasn't weighing myself, so I probably would have put weight on, but I couldn't tell you how much. By the time I got my results, I was back into running back in the February time. I, I'd built myself up from the fitness I'd lost in the time I was studying, and then I managed to get myself injured, which was fantastic. I then spent a good two months recovering from that injury, which meant I wasn't running properly for about five months in total, and yeah, I put on 20 pounds. Which is a lot, yes, but I honestly wasn't doing the running that I was, I wasn't doing the exercise that I was, and I wasn't dieting like I was, so that's the main thing. Anyway, that's my backstory of what you've missed. <laughs> we'll go to recently, and yeah, as I say, I've been stepping on the scales all the time and keeping an eye on my weight, and I cannot tell you how annoying this is to say, but I have just hit maintenance, and I haven't been able to budge. So with my eating i'm obviously eating at my maintenance consistently i get i'm eating whatever i want so for example last weekend i was working away well i say working away i was working at my mum's house doing some work for her had everybody with me so we were going out for meals because it was a chance for my husband and i to go out and have a dinner together so we went out and had a lovely indian and we were also out and about trying to keep our daughter happy as well because she was with us she was being really good so we took her to mcdonald's i just had whatever i wanted um i have been running so that helps to cancel it out but yeah i was enjoying a mcdonald's so i had takeaways all weekend and then i stepped on the scales and boom guess what i saw this morning it's not even just after the weekend um it's literally like a few days after and I've maintained. Do you know what? I should be happy I've maintained. I'm not really trying with my diet and I've perfected maintenance. Let's just put it that way. But I went for a run yesterday and yeah, it's it's so difficult when you've not really been eating properly and you, do, you don't feel right when you get back into the exercise. It actually puts you off a little bit. So eating better actually helps me with my running. I'm just a mile in and 
I do feel quite sluggish, but it is quite warm today. But after having like heavy eating, you know, like I was working away and my daughter's on summer holidays and my husband's on annual leave. I had concerns of making sure they were happy and fed and whatnot. And obviously my daughter's been really well behaved and letting me work. So we just went for the easy option, like nine times out of 10. Having that night out together, me and my husband literally never happens. So yeah, that was nice. But when you get back on it, it does make you feel really sluggish, which I do today, but I'm gonna get back going because I've stopped and walked to talk to you. Sluggish is the word. But I really hope that I can get my head in the game and get myself in that calorie deficit. It is so, so hard. You hear what other people will say to you, you know, like, just cut this out, just cut that out. Throughout my whole weight loss journey, I have never, ever, ever given anything up that I wasn't willing to give up for life. I've kept the takeaways, I've kept the chocolate, I've kept the crisps, I've kept all the foods that you would class as bad foods, I've kept them in my diet, but I've learned to manage and control and obviously not overeat on those things, which I tell you now is so, so hard to do. It's so hard to, if you are at a stage where you're struggling with your overeating, you can keep going. You have got this. You will be able to learn what you need to do to get there. It's a, it's a relationship with food. This is what it is. Switching on and focusing on what you're eating, how much you're eating, and just doing the maths. I've said before, weight loss is just maths. And I love to just simplify things because I hate the complicated because then I have an excuse not to do it because it's too complicated. <laughs> But guys, let me know in the comments below. Are you currently on a weight loss journey? Have you hit that plateau? I would love, love, love to know. And yeah, hopefully I can keep you guys updated and hopefully I can come back with a loss if I can get my head in the game. I'm stuck in the 180s, but I'd rather be in the 180s than where I was in the 230s way back when I started. So hopefully this is an encouragement to say, if you've lost track and you put some weight back on, the journey's never over. It's, it's this, we just do this, we just keep going. <laughs> well, I'm gonna keep plodding along and I will see you guys soon for some more updates. Bye guys.